हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज के इस वीडियो में हम नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब्स करने वाले हैं आगे बढ़ने से पहले चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दें थैंक यू हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑफ पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अपॉन नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब्स एंड बिफोर दिस वी हैव डिस्कस अपॉन द फाइनाइट वर्ब्स सो बिफोर स्टार्ट I would like to tell you what is difference between finite and non-finite verbs. So here are some examples. Let's see. I have given him money. And the second is I like to give him money today. In these two sentences we see that in the first this is a verb given is the verb and this verb is regulated by the subject and the tense of this sentence this verb is regulated by the number of the subject and the person of the subject and third the tense of the sentence ye jo verb hai ye teen cheezon ke dwara regulate ki gayi hai ek to aapke karta ka vachan whether it is singular or plural dusra karta ka person person uh, first hai second hai ya third hai and third tense which tells so this verb is regulated as per the tense of the sentence the number of the subject and the person of the subject so we can say that this verb is not a non finite verb or we can say this is a sponsored verb a limited verb rather and it has not its free existence it is regulated by other uh, portion ya yeah, other elements of the sentence so this is a finite verb and in the next sentence i like to give him money today here we can say that this verb and this verb our first verb is like and second is to go uh, to give so we see that like is a finite verb because as in the previous sentence we have uh, talked that it is regulated by the person and the number and the tense of the sentence in this sentence we know that there is present indefinite tense and present indefinite tense always takes verbs first form so this is finite verb because it is regulated as per the tense of the sentence the number of the subject and the person of the subject but then what about to give what about to give to give is a non finite verbs because it doesn't get affected by the tense of the sentence by the number of the subject and by the person of the subject so we can say this is a non finite verb so the definition is clear that if we talk about finite verb the finite verb is a verb that is get pressure that is get uh, respond uh, we can say that is get limited by three things first tense of the sentence second number of the subject and third person of the subject and if we talk about uh, non finite verbs non finite verbs is a verb that is totally free and any other part whether it is the tense of the sentence whether it is the number and the person of the subject 
it does not get affected by any outer element of the sentence so next sentence she likes to give me many now i am giving you some uh, more examples to illustrate in a better way about the finite and non-finite verbs so next is she likes to give me many here are two verbs first is likes and second is to give so we can say likes is a finite verb because it takes s because of the similar number of the subject so this verb got limited by the number of the subject but to give to give is not get any outer uh, pressure and this is a non finite verb in the next sentence we can say we can see like to teach and in the last sentence like to give so in the last three sentences we see that in the first it is likes in the second it is like and in the third it's once again like so the three verbs is not same in all three sentences because they are changed themselves according to the subject but in the all three sentences to give to teach and to give these verbs remain same without change their form so we can say these are non finite verbs and the verbs that are changed according to the subject tense and person these are finite verbs so it is a simple uh, clarification it is a simple difference between a finite and a non finite verbs now we will discuss upon how many non finite verbs are there in english grammar and after that we will study their each and every rules so let's start yes now we will talk about non finite verbs so here are the list of non finite verbs in number these are three first infinitives second gerunds and third participles these are three non finite verbs in english and uh, uh, as uh, the number of uh, finite verb is concerned they are countless they are limitless so we will discuss more about non finite verbs and in this series first of all we will talk about infinitives what is infinitives infinitives is a noun with a cer uh, with certain features of a verb infinitive is a noun with certain features of a verb we can say that infinitive works as a noun but it has the feature of a verb also but it does not act as a verb it work as a noun as an adjective and as an adverb but it doesn't work as a verb and to is used with infinitive we use to before verb the first form to make infinitives and we don't use to in all sentences or we don't use to with the verb the first form in all infinitives sometimes we omit to here are uh, a few examples and uh, the role of the two infinitive in a sentence she comes here to study she comes here to study so this is this is two infinitive and in this sentence it works as a purpose and in the next to forgive to forgive is god so here is 
the infinitive this is the infinitive and it works as the subject of the sentence so here are a few information about infinitives